Hey, what's up team? How's it going? Welcome back to a new video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how much I got paid in 2021. So it's January through to December. I'm gonna give you my military pay and then also my YouTube and you can see roughly what you're gonna get if you're in the British Army and what you get as a YouTuber of around 50,000 subscribers. Started off the year of around just under 30,000 and you can see roughly what you get for the types of videos you do, because that plays a big part and you're gonna see that in this video today. So first of all, we're gonna start off with military pay and then we'll move on to the YouTube pay. So the way I'll give it to you then, we'll start off with gross and then we'll move on to net. What I mean by gross is all you're paid together before any deductions, any taxes, national insurance, any sort of other deductions that you can get within the military. 2021, so this isn't tax year to tax year how pay is normally done, this is January till December, I got paid gross uh, £38,660.72p. So that's my annual salary. I get home to duty for fuel. Um, so the, the army give me money to pay for my fuel because I have to travel in every day. So that's Monday to Friday. Uh, any sort of other like add-ons. So the current job I'm in at the minute is welfare, so we get a yearly sort of civilian clothing allowance that's a few hundred quid. Uh, that could include like your LSA if you're going away on exercises or operations. Any sort of bonuses you might get in a year if you've got commitment bonuses. Or if you get, get your home so you own a house uh, and you live up north um, and you're based down south and you can't travel home every day, you only go on weekends, you get get your home. That's what gross, that's what all that comes into. For me, it was £38,660. So that's my annual salary, my home to duty, my clothing allowance, all combined. Then we get the deductions. So HMRC come in, take their chunk. Then you get your national insurance that goes towards other things as well. That disappears and then you have other sort of outgoings. I've got my forces help to buy. Um, you do a home to duty arrears as well, so they take a little bit back because of the way they pay you. Um, any sort of other deductions that might come in, you know, if you live in a married quarter, that would come out. You live in a block, that would come out. You do services pay given, so you pay towards like your associations within your regiments. So after all my deductions, in uh, 2021, I took home £29,402.74p. So I lost eight and a half plus that. So I lost about £9,000 in deductions. So my tax and national insurance each month is most probably about £700-£800. So you lose that straight away. That gets deducted right down. Um, and then you get what's left over. So... That's not too bad, can't complain. Um, it's definitely what above the uh, UK average uh, annual salary. That's as a corporal in the British Army. If you're a private trooper sapper, it's gonna be a lot less. If you're a lance corporal, it's gonna be a little bit less. If you're a sergeant, corporal force, it's gonna be a little bit more. But that gives you a rough estimate of what you're gonna receive in a British Army as a corporal with a couple of little um, extras, so like home to duty, um, and then all your deductions once all your tax and everything comes out. That's what you're gonna get roughly in a year. Moving on to YouTube then. So, this, this is quite a big one. Let's see what we've got. I don't actually know what I've uh, earned in 2021. Um, it also shows some of you what you can earn as a YouTuber. I've got around 50,000 subscribers. Started off the year of around 28, 29,000. And uh, some of my videos have done really well. I've got one that's hit a million, quite a few others at five, 600,000. But some of them, especially being in the category that I am, you don't receive as much money as you think. And I'm gonna show you that today. So looking at it, we've got the last 28 days, it's saying roughly £199.26p. I got monetized, uh, let's see if I can do it, back in September of 2019, I believe it was. So, so as you can see here, yeah, it was uh, around the 10th of September 2019, I was able to monetize my videos. And from September to the end of December, so pretty much the whole of 2019 of where I was getting revenue, I had 165 pound in those few months. Uh, you can see it fluctuates when, it, when you post a video or when a video starts to go like a little bit viral and it goes up. So it's not that much, but it's not bad considering 
you know, I was just making videos for fun and I started getting paid for it. But you put a lot of time and effort into them and all I got was 165 pounds. But for 2021, 2,907 pound and 95 P. So once again, that's gross. So that's before any tax deductions because I'm gonna have to have tax come off that. So we're gonna work out 2907 plus 95. So for 2021 gross before any tax, I earned 41,568 pound and 67 P before any tax. And we've then got to 29, this is a rough estimate because I have certain deductions, 07.95. 20% tax is 581 pounds. So if we take off 581 from that, leaves me with 2326 equals plus 29402 So for 2021 in total, I earned 31,729 pounds and 69p. Considering so that's what, just under £3,000 for YouTube, the amount of hours and time I actually put into that, most probably doesn't really come into, like that's well below minimum wage, the hours I put in. If you look at some of the top earning videos, so my military full body uh, home workout is my biggest earner for the year, thank you very much, I didn't know that was. Uh, and then if you look at, so if we look at this one, um, Philippine Scout Rangers, okay, so this one, £225, uh, bearing in mind that's got 550,000 views, if that was the workout video, so if we go back, that workout video is £432, has only done 431,000 views. So it's got an RPM of £1.59. So for each view, I was earning £1.59. But the Scout Ranger, because of the type of video it was, I'm going here, it earned less. So I was only getting paid 41p per view because of where the country is, how much they pay for the ads and the type of video it is, they actually limited the ads on it. So even though I did 500,000 views, I actually only got paid £226. Um, and that took quite a few hours. Uh, a lot of effort went into that. Um, especially the home workout one as well, uh, only £432, only £3,000, bearing in mind I post, you know, I try to post minimum twice a week, sometimes more, and you know, it can be pretty much a full-time job, you know, I do my job in the day and then in the evening, majority of the nights each week, I'm videoing, I'm videoing my workouts in the day, I'm editing and then I'm posting them, and I earn £3,000. So in total, £31,729, not bad for a year, I can't complain with that compared to um, what other people earn, especially in this current climate and current situation. That's why I always make sure I try to give to charity, um, try to do things like that. I always do try and try and do some sort of charity event, which I'll be doing this year. Me and Amber always try and give um, things away here and there if we can. So it is a very good wage. Um, the Army one I definitely can't complain with. YouTube, I hope to earn more if I can. Uh, because I'm looking to go into that more full time um, and receive a little bit more back for the hours I put in. But for something I actually love, uh, which is more of a hobby, to actually earn money from that is absolutely amazing. So if you're looking to start on YouTube, you can earn some decent money, even if it's only a little bit of supplement to add on top of your current income. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let us know what your thoughts are. Uh, give us a comment below with what you want to see in the future. Remember to click that subscription button. Give us a thumbs up, it really helps the channel, really helps the video, and I'll see you soon. I, I hold on to this storm, cause I need to be swept away, swept away. I,